Hi everyone, Manu Vinci here, and today we are going to go through some sourcing techniques. So before I start, I'm going, I want to tell you that nothing is planned into this video. We could be finding products uh, to drop ship or FBA or some private labels ideas. So um, before I start, I'm going to go into the shop by department from Amazon.co.uk. I'm going to open the full shop category, the full shop directory. Uh, let's say that we want to be sourcing toys and games. So for me, uh, one thing that I do right away is uh, selecting products that have got three or more stars. That means that they have got no uh, bad reviews uh, or they have mainly good uh, or uh, positive reviews, right? Anything below three is, is uh, negative. So uh, first thing that I look at are uh, products with low competition and where possibly Amazon is not a seller. Um, as you can see, there is, a, uh, there is an extension that is bringing up some uh, information already. And this, uh, um, this extension is called DS Amazon Quick View. I've actually got the uh, DS Amazon Quick View extended, which is a paid version for it. Uh, if you can click in here, I can show me the show, show the product details on mouse over and show pop up at the right hand corner. So you can select, uh, um, we can also hide products that are sold by Amazon. So you can click in there and it will hide products where Amazon is a seller. So, which is really good because it's already eliminated Amazon as a seller, as a competitor. The next thing that we can do, I'm not sure if I can um, add uh, um, products that are uh, private labels, but we can easily identify them usually by the word sponsored, right? Um, because uh, no one would really sponsor products where there are 100 sellers. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I mean uh, whilst we go through this video. So what, you can see that this one is sponsored. There is only one seller if we open it up. Uh, so uh, this product is sold by H H and S and sold by H and S Alliance UK Ltd, which tells me that it's uh, most likely a private label product, which we won't be able to find anywhere else. But if we manufacture our own, so I'm gonna skip all these products products. And I'm going to go through um, products that have got really good uh, ranking with low competition. So we can start open this one. Usually it tells me how many sellers there are next to it. So we're going to open this up and see if there are any more sellers for this particular product. You can see there are 19 new sellers. Um, however, the price for this product is very low. We would not make any pro profit. You can see the Essen Inspector, which is another software that I use. Is estimating a sales, uh, a monthly sales of 354, but is only making that kind of revenue. So for the sake of six pound profit, uh, we won't make, uh, we won't keep going with these products. So there are products like this one as well, which I uh, looks like again is a sponsor product. So it's a, pri a private label, and there is only one pri uh, one FBA seller on it. But with these ones are easily found also in places like Alibaba. So you can see uh, two people selling it. So this particular product uh, is selling for seven seven sixty nine, and um, it's only selling about thirty three times a month. So again, it's nothing that we would be really interested in. Uh, let's keep going. All right, and here we've got 22 people off. Oh, it's just gone. It's just uploading. So just uh, let's just let's just let it upload. And this one, 25 pounds. So usually we look at prices that go from 18, 20 pounds above, so that we can start making some good profit. Um, especially if we're gonna find some private labels. So in here there are 88 people selling it. Not too keen on that. Um, let's keep going. In here, there is only one Amazon seller. The ranking is a bit too high. So, um, a good uh, a good website that I use uh, for uh, estimation to to let me to to understand what kind of category we're looking at is the best selling guys. So, if you scroll down here, we we find the Amazon UK rank and best seller chart. So, we are on the toys category. We should be looking at things 
if we are drop shipping we can go all the way up to 10 percent but if you want fba and private label you want to be uh, buying products that are below the top one percent of that category so this is just to give an idea on uh, what i should be looking at and this product ranking at 400,000 is above that criteria and then we got this one again sponsored private label private label private label we keep going this one is very cheap very cheap this one is not private label but there are 106 people selling it so i'm gonna go and skip straight to page three where we can find products that are still really very good ranked but uh, the competition should be lower uh, the more we go forward all right so let's keep looking at this we go again sponsor sponsor sponsored Lego uh, is restricted in the US, but I don't think we uh, is restricted in the UK. So we could be looking at this one, but there are 100 people that are already competing for it. Uh, let's have a look at this one now. Here we got the exploiting kitten. We've got only four offers. It's going for 19 pounds. So let's click on it and see what this product brings. All right, let's just start. Uh, Wait for this to go. I wanna I want to click on A. Wait a minute. We're gonna get to it and there you go. Alright. So uh, Amazon Quick View telling me there are four people competing for that. Let's have a look at the competition. 1999 seems to have the buy box right now. Only four people selling this product. So one thing we can do to find the supplier of this product is either copying the title and going to Google Shopping or we can open the picture, right click on it and search Google for images. So it's selling for $19.99, the buy box price right now. You can see that here. And we're gonna go and search for uh, so we can get it from exploiting kittens here and looks like they are just selling it on Amazon and Target right so let's get back there so Amazon we've already got it let's keep going let's say usually usually go through a few of these pages Walmart seems to be selling it as well oh seems that that link is not working let's keep going and uh, let's keep going. I think this shopee.com are just a, a review website. So we got it on Alibaba. So this probably could be something that we could buy from Alibaba at $3. You need to buy 100 at least. Let's have a look what as an inspector says. So this is a really good product, I would say, because it seems like it's not a private label. Um, seems to be selling 2,243 times per month because it's ranked at number six in the in the toys categories. So let's say that it would sell 2,243 times divided by five sellers because we would like to sell that as well. So 2,243 divided by five sellers. We could potentially be selling this product for about 400 times in a month and. We can get it for three dollars so three dollars so that would be three hundred dollars uh what's that in pounds uh, so three dollars sorry three dollars let's have a look how much is two pounds 31 all right so if we go into uh, i would probably fba this product so if we go into the fba um, fee calculator um, we can uh, um, we can we can estimate the the profit for that. So the ASIN for this product is that one. We can get it from the URL. We're gonna put the ASIN there. All right. Select this product and the price of the cost. Uh, sorry, the item price is nineteen ninety nine. We would be able to get it from Alibaba uh, for um, three dollars, which as we said was two pound 31 let's say that to sell 100 uh, to, to get 100 from china it would cost us you know an extra pound each so that could be 3.31 
So we could potentially be making 11 pound profit per product. And if we sell 400 a month, just in one product, there you go, we could be making a nice net profit of 4,676 pounds, all right? So I am definitely going to save this product. Uh, um, I'm gonna open a notepad and I'm gonna keep searching. So that is something to get from Alibaba. And I'm gonna keep my uh, searching here. So we found already a product that could be making me a 4,000 uh, pounds net profit. And we are only 10 minutes into this video. So we're gonna keep going in here. So we were at page three. Again, we skipped the sponsored ones. We haven't got any Amazon competition because thanks to DS Quick View um, Pro, I think it's called. DS Amazon Quick View Extended. We have eliminated any Amazon competition. So we are gonna keep going here and see if we can find any more gold. And got that one ranking at, uh, it's only 475, 799, 12999. And in here we start making some good money with that, but it's a sponsored product again. So let's keep going. So the, 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 the sourcing, um, sourcing could be a tedious job because it could take you some time, but you know, it's well worth the time. This is the money making activity of the business. And as you can see, we found already a product that could potentially make us over 4,000 pounds in profit in uh, 30 days. So it's not uh, a waste of time, right? <laughs> All right, so we, these ones, what's this one? Uh, 29.99, Sweet Dreams by Sweet Dreamers. Doesn't seem to be a private label, although there's only one FBA seller. It's not telling me how many people are selling it, so I'm gonna open that up and see if we can find it. I'm opening that up because my daughter has got one of them, and I know she loves it. So this one, seems to be um so who's selling this product sweet dreamers let's open it if the seller is called sweet dreamers it's more likely baba baby is not um it's not private label by the look of it and it seems to be selling 351 times in a month with a revenue of 10,000. i i'm gonna try and search for this product here let's see how it goes We can get it from argos.co.uk. All right, so we can get it for 29.99. Would make no profit on Amazon because Amazon selling it for 29.99 too. So I'm gonna see if we can find it from somewhere else. I'm gonna click on shopping, and it says here we can get it from 25 different shops for 29.99. I'm not entirely sure this is the exact same product. 53.35, that's used, uh, used. Let's see on this 25 to see if there is anything below, um, below 29.99. Compare the prices from 25 different stores and they are all above that kind of uh, time. So we got that free shipping from eBay cheapest electrical. Let's keep going. No, I cannot find it cheaper, so I'm gonna skip this product and I'm gonna keep going. Go back into here. And let's see what we can find. All right, so here 45 views. Oh, still loading. All right, seems that it's still loading, so we'll just wait a minute or so. All right, okay, this is $14.99, Girl Zone, only one person selling it, it's not sponsored, one of the best sellers. Let's see if we can find this one. How many people are selling this product? <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be sold by Girl Zone, or fulfilled by Amazon, and it's called Girl Zone, it looks like it's a private label. You don't want to be trademarking anybody, infringing the trademark from anybody, so you're gonna keep going. All right. 
783 offers on that dragon. Let's see if I can find it again. This is what happens when you are shooting a video and you've got so many applications running on the background. So bear with me, guys. Seems like we lost that dragon that we just saw with only three people selling it. Doesn't matter, we keep going. 65 new offers on that one. Uh, this one is ranking on 11,962, which is the top 1% of the category. Let's see if we can find uh, the source for this one. So there is only one person selling it. You see, and it seems to be a good product. Let me see if it could be. Yeah, it seems to be a private label. The same name of the product is usually give away that this product is just sold by them because they are the, the manufacturers. And let's keep going. <clears throat> Come on. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. All right, let's go on page five. Let's let uh, the applications uh, do their jobs and we can see if we can find anything else here. Number one in toys, only 475 is too low. That's too low, although it seems disgusting. They seem to be going with the kids a lot. Uh, number 79, the close, only one FBA seller. I'm gonna skip the ones where it says just one FBA seller because most likely they are um, private uh, labels. Sponsored, 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 sponsored. Let's keep going. I'm gonna go on to page six. And we have got uh, these nerves, 54 people selling the nerf is a bit too much of competition. Six new offer for this color 5 liter washable PVA glue eco 5 liter 149 in toys and games. So I'm gonna open that up and see if I can find the supplier for it. Alright, it's going for £11.60. I want to see the competition. Look at that, seems like we're selling 2,100 times a month. Different sellers. By box 1160. Let's see if we can find this product in Google. We can find it from box.com. Let's have a look. This box.com, who they are. Mm, doesn't seem like they're advertising the same product. Let's have a look at this one. It's not bringing the right product. When the link does it, I don't waste time trying to find it. All right, shopping. Let's have a look if we can find it here. No. Let's get back. So where are these guys getting this scholar? Five little glue. Amazon UK, Amazon UK. That seems to be the only place where they are selling it from. But where are these people getting it from? So another way we can do a little bit of analysis is going into the product. I'm going to click into another application called Camel, Camel, Camel. And I'm going to click on product on this page. Sorry, uh, go in here. I want to see a view product on Camel, Camel, Camel. And here, when you click on product details, you'll be able to find the UPC code usually. We got an EAN number there. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna try and find so the manufacturer is called. If you click under there, it tells you um who is the manufacturer and what we're selling for 1160. They are selling it for 11 or current price. 
So if I click on here, I bet it's gonna take me back to Amazon for 11 pound, yeah. So uh, what I'm gonna, go, gonna be doing now is I'm gonna go into a website called upcindex.com and I'm gonna see if I can find other sellers where to buy it. Um, all right, everything seems to be bringing me back to that scholar. eBay, Amazon, eBay, eBay, Amazon Italy, Amazon Spain. So it seems to be bringing me back. I'm gonna skip this product, close these pages. <coughs> Sorry, and we keep going. So the criteria is three plus stars. We want a very low competition and a very high number of sales. So this nerve, 54 people selling that nerve, 84 in toys and games, a brand, one FBA seller, the price is very low. Let's skip that. Let's have a look at these walls apart. How many people? Four FBA sellers. 29.99 seems to be the buy box right now. I'm gonna open that up and see if we can find it. 26 people fighting for this. 2147 divided by 26, still 82 times that it would sell if we can find a good supplier for it. Argos is selling it for. So we are getting it for 29.99 and Argos is selling it for 19.99, three for two. So every time we get, all right, let's have a look. 19.99, if we would buy a 19.99, we would make a two pound 48 profit selling that product. That would be another 200 pounds profit per month we could get it from argos and the good thing about this is that you could be using you could actually drop ship that for free because we can use uh, um, a site called skew grid uh, which uh, can um, so if you go on the sites on the stores the skew grid which is an inventory management tool uh let's have a look a let's have a look if it's got argos here i'm pretty sure they they argos uk yeah so they take they can check the, the inventory from this supplier and update your amazon seller central accordingly so when you get a sale you would ship it directly from argos and there you go that's another 200 pound that you can uh, um that you can uh, utilize so now let's let's skip into another kind of strategy now that we are in argos argos is one of those suppliers that is uh, supported by oa x-ray and oa x-ray um, can scan the full site finding products that have got specific criteria so if i want to make a 15 percent return on investment as you can see I just scanned this page and there's gonna be other things underneath it that's what OX Ray is finding and straight away we found another three products there that we could be selling so what we can do is see if the images match and this one in particular is selling on Amazon for $19.99 we can get it for $24.99 so I would like to open that up on Argos $24.99 and I'm gonna open that up on Amazon to make sure that the products are matching. Sometimes they don't, and that's why I'm opening it. Like in this case, they don't seem to be matching. And we've opened another product, which is the top 12. And this one, this is another, this is another, um, another um, software that I use called uh, Brev Seller. Uh, it will install, um, uh, an extension into your Google account here and it tells you straight away how many pro uh, what's the percentage of the ranking of this product is how many people are selling it and uh, with um, and you can estimate the sales with ASIN inspector so 
straight away you would say no to that product so I'm gonna close that up and I'm gonna um, close it also on uh, um, on here so I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna go into this one which is going for 58 and 24 so again we're gonna open it up in Amazon and we're gonna open it up on Argos hoping that this time they match now it's taking a while to load on Amazon so it seems that it is the right product just different pictures here so that one $24.99 and on Amazon is selling for uh, $58, $58 so we went from the UK to the US for some reason it looks like OEX Ray is not working that well on this one but what we can do is copy that and get back into Amazon.co.uk as Argos is a UK supplier so I'm gonna place the title into the search box and we could probably make good money with this because um, there is only 13 sellers in the UK with this however the sales um, the estimated sales are much lower however they're selling it for 4498 if we would buy that for 2499 2499 that will give us a 997 um, return on investment which would uh, also help us to get the buy box of this product um, so we could be basically beating all these people here which are selling it for a very high pro uh, high profit uh, but uh, we don't want to do it because there is a lot of competition on that particular product so I'm going to skip it again I'm going to go into the third one that is showing me it's not showing in there so I'm going to open this one at Argos and I'm going to copy the title I'm going to go back into amazon.co.uk and find this particular product which seems to be this one 27.49 27 for 9, 29 95. It's not much profit on this one. Let's see what uh, kind of it's 990 sales per month with 15 sellers. That's not the kind of criteria that we like to see for, for a listing. So um, I'm gonna keep uh, going, but now I'm gonna switch to drop shipping only. So on uh, um, if you go into OAX Ray supported websites and you're going to click on to, into this link and you want to go for if i'm sourcing in the uk i'm going to go into uk i'm going to click there full support 40 stars now i want to make sure that the products that i'm listing are also covered by skew grid right so i'm going to go skew grid supported sites in UK and let's have a look I'm gonna pause this video because I'm gonna log into my account all right so I'm now in my account and uh, you can see that these are the sites so when you click on stores you can scroll down and you find South Africa, United States, these are all the stores supported in the United States, these are all the stores in the United Kingdom, and we go all the places like Netherlands, Malaysia, Mexico, Italy, France, Europe, Spain, Germany, Canada, and Australia. You can use each one of these to drop ship because SkewGrid will track the inventory for you on their website and it will update your Amazon inventory automatically. So let's say that the product that you're looking for has got five in stock, SKU Grid will put that into your Amazon Seller Central, so you will show five products in stock, right? And if that product goes out of stock, again, SKU Grid will scan that particular website and put your stock 
out of stock on Amazon. So what you want to make sure if you want to be listing at high scale is that the products that uh, the supplier that you will, will be looking at is also supported by OAX Ray. So I'm going to look into uh, OAX Ray and we saw already Argos works. So I'm going to try an, an, another one now. We got direct to mom. We have got uh, these are these are the, the ones that I know that are also on here. So I want to keep going. I want to go to something else. Toysrus.co.uk. Let's have a look if we got Toys R Us here. Toys R Us. We got it in Canada only. So we cannot use that for the UK. Uh, let's have a look. Mankind. We got man Mankind in uh, businessstore.co.uk. Let's have a look if we got here. Business Star, is that in the UK, United States, Disney, we got it here, let's have a look if we got it in the UK as well, Disney Star, seems to be the same, Disney Star, don't call the UK, and let me close this one, Disney Star, don't call the UK, not sure why it redirected me, to this site, but let's have a look if it works. So now that I'm here, let's go to Disney and let's have a look. Uh, adults, kids, shop now for kids. Okay, here we are. We would we would like again something that is above um, above the, the the three stars. So I'm gonna click on that. 15 items, let's click on the OAX Ray extension, see if this is gonna bring any deals. No product could be found on this page, keep going. I'm gonna take this filter off. I'm gonna try for the five stars here. And let's have a look if we can scan anything. Could not find any product matching. So it doesn't look like this side is support. So if I go back into Disney.co.uk, Let's have a look if it works here. And Halloween costumes. That could be something good for now. To, to, so custom with kids. Other dogs. That's a particular niche. Let's see if that works here. All right, I'm just gonna go into a supplier that I know it works. So I'm gonna go into Curry's, which is also supported by SKU Grid. Curry's, all right, so I'm gonna click into this one. I'm gonna close all the Disney store, which doesn't seem like to be working for, properly. And I'm gonna go to get, uh, I don't know, um, irons from Curry's. All right. Then I'm gonna go and see if OAX Ray will bring us any good deals for this site. There you go, seems to be working with Cores. I'm gonna go to switch to this table and it should highlight what's red and green. So maybe in this page is not uh, bringing any profit. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. So these are all different techniques, as you can see, on something that I will send to FBA that could be also a potential private label uh, for over £4,000. You could make your own for that. You can mirror things. Uh, but I will do it for FBA. And another one of over £200 profit. And now we are looking into Curis. And here is not bringing anything with the red and green, so possible matches found. It's saying no icing, so it doesn't look like it's working properly with Curry's. So let's try another website um, that it looks like is working toysaros.co.uk for Toys R Us. Pretty sure that it was here, but 
You need to make sure that it's in both things, you see. Toys are ours. Yes, it is in the UK as well. There you go. So let's see if we can find um, good products, team members, customer care supplies, submit a claim. I don't want to send any of these. I just want to see your products. Customers. There is nothing in here about products. What's going on? Say like that, toysaros.co.uk, can we live? All right, this company is no longer trading, right? That makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's keep watching uh, what we can do with this. And let's try direct to mum.co.uk. Let's uh, let's go for bad time and changing. Shall we go for healthcare and humidifiers? All right, let's have a look if OIX rates is going to bring us any good deals for these ones. All right, so straight away we got two products here. Let's have a look if that matches. So let's open that up. Keeps going to Amazon.com for some reason. So what I'm going to do here is actually copy the title and find it on Amazon.co.uk. All right. So the product is found at um, Direct to Mom is this one. So let's see if we can find this one. Description, picture technical details, product code. Let's have a look if we can find it by the product code. No, I'm gonna grab the keep cutting product and moments on my touch back there. Might that be there? You go. Might that be just a code for that supplier? That's why I didn't find it. But here seems like we find it. One in stock, four new estimated sales per month. Not for me, thank you. And also, it's got bad reviews. So I'm going to remove that and let's have a look at this one. And that went into Amazon.co.uk. Fortunately, let's have a look at this product. Four reviews, I like that. Currently unavailable, so it's not bringing us any information, and I can see if we could list it because it's got good reviews. I'll be the only seller, and we could get it from direct to mum for thirty pounds. Let's open the link. Well, everything seems to be stopped. So we could get that from direct to mum for thirty pound, and it's so I'm definitely gonna put this onto my list because there is no competition on this particular product. Although it looks like the color might be different, or maybe this one is switched on and the other one is not. Let's see product details. If we can, for 137,000 is ranking, but well, that is also because it's got no sales on the baby product category. I'm gonna go here, 137,000 is currently above the top 10%, but that could be because it's been out of stock. So, you know, when it gets sales, the ranking goes down, so I could still potentially be listing it. And, and that's it. So um, let's get back here. Let's go for car seat and chair. So as you can see, I'm going all, on all sorts of directions. Uh, baby carriers. You know, if you do this for nine, uh, eight hours a day, I'm not, how many products can you find? You know, and I'm really looking for specific criteria. So I'm being very, very strict in here. It's stable. No oh, icing pounds on here. No other pages. So I'm gonna go and find 
another category, nursery furnishing, bedding and duvet set. And again, I'm going to click on OAX Ray, see if we can find anything in here. Okay, switch table views. It's not working really well. Usually, OAX Ray works fantastically well with US suppliers. So if I go into Walmart, for example, and you select a category uh, in Walmart, so I click on this drop down menu and we go for Halloween. Let's have a look what is going to show us indoor decor, outdoor decor, example, go all that and let's see how it works with Walmart. Straight away is bringing really good results. As you know, I sell in multiple marketplaces, so I'll just uh, juggle from one side to the other all the time, and I'll list products in UK, in US, and other marketplaces all together. So I'm gonna go on page two, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the next couple of pages, page three. And I click on that, sorry about the phone. And I'm gonna go and do that again, page four. So you can see the first two pages have finished and we can just leave the one with the positive ROI. So we click there and we go one, two, three, four, five products to see there. We've got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products to search there. Again, switch table view, positive ROI. And when I say positive ROI, it's a minimum of 15%, so it's not even that bad, especially when you're drop shipping it, when you're not putting any money forward and another four in here. Now, what you can do, you can add all these products to your buy list. And then when you go into the, your buy list, you'll have, again, switch table, you have all these products here. You can literally export this and check one by one with the links and everything. I'll show you that in another video. Uh, but you can literally see the pictures when they match or not. You can see that one is selling on Amazon for 33. We can get it for 99, 1997. This one, 33, we can get it for 1997. That one seems to be mismatched. That one might be a different picture, but 47 and 24, 19 and 5. So you can see how, how much money we could be making here. Again, 17 and 7. Uh, they all seem to be matching these ones. That one, I'm not sure. That one seems like the same. That one is matching. That one, that one seems that is not matching, it looks like that one up there. So we would have to check them all. That one again, cannot be the same listing. That one matches, it's gonna for 13, 15 at Walmart and 23 to 33 at Amazon. That one, 724 and 1408 on Amazon. So you can see how much we could be making in just a short space of 43 minutes now. We found a lot of products that we could be listing either in Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.com. I went through different kind of strategy, this different kind of criteria, uh, different kind of softwares and extensions that we can use. I hope you've enjoyed your vi this video, and uh, this one is the best one that we found today, which I'm gonna go and jump on now. Don't you all be going and jumping there, please? <laughs> Yeah, I showed you how you can find this kind of products. This one has got 58% net margin. So I'm definitely going to go and jump on that now. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like my videos, just like them and share them. I'm here for any kind of question that you've got. Make sure that you follow my YouTube page. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.